It is time for another Science with Sarah experiment this morning. Sarah Spivey and our David Sears hanging out with some third graders at Bonnie Ellison Elementary. And we have been talking a lot about the annual or solar eclipse coming up. So Sarah has come up with a project to help students safely view the eclipse. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. Yes, of course, we know it's totally unsafe to look at the solar eclipse without proper eye protection. But if you can't get those special glasses, this is a great way to see a high definition version of the solar eclipse it's called a pinhole projector. All you need is a cereal box, a piece of paper, tape. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's it's empty. It's empty. We're going to make it into this. You gave me an empty cereal box. I did. Sorry, David. He has it's no breakfast. cereal to eat. The most important meal of the day, and I got an empty cereal box. I'm sorry about that, man. Okay, so again, you're going to need those things as well as a pencil and a pinhole, okay? So David's going to start by tracing on this white piece of paper at the bottom of a cereal box, and he's going to cut it out. And I don't know if you can see this, but at the bottom here, I've got that piece of paper lined at the bottom. This is what's going to be a good projector uh, of the light. So David, once he cuts that out, now during a solar eclipse, as you know, the moon moves in front of the sun. But in this case, on Saturday the 14th, the moon is going to be slightly smaller than the sun, and it's going to create that ring of fire effect. So David, why don't you put some tape on the bottom there? and then put it at the bottom of the cereal box. We also have the San Antonio Zoo with us. And the reason we have the zoo here with us is the partnership with Science with Sarah. And then also, you may have heard that animals may act a little differently, perhaps, during the solar eclipse. So we wanted to debunk some of that and show off some of these nocturnal animals, which live primarily in the night. So Heather, tell me a little bit about who we have here. Yes, so this is Jean, and Jean is a blue-tongued skink. So you might be able to see her see stick her tongue out. Um, so sticking her tongue out is actually going to be how she smells. So she sticks her tongue out and she's collecting all those atoms and molecules in the air. And when she sticks it back in her mouth, it helps her figure out what's going on. She must be out pretty late if she's nocturnal. Yeah, she is. <laughs> we'll talk in just a little bit about an event you guys have going on. But right now, David is cutting the small edges of the cereal box off here. And you can see that at the bottom, he's put the piece of paper. Then what you're going to do, great job, David. He's already ahead of the game. You're going to create two slots at the bottom, at the top here but you wanna leave the middle. And you wanna leave the middle because you're going to have one side be where the light's gonna come in and the other side where you're going to see. So why don't you- the paper down there. Yep, there you go. And then just tape that middle and put foil over one side like this, okay? All right, so the zoo has a really wonderful event for the solar eclipse, correct? Yes, we have the eclipse extravaganza. And this is an event you do not wanna miss because you can come to the zoo, you'll get solar glasses, or you can bring your cereal yes. box. <laughs> yep, and you can take part of this event with us. Now, so a lot of our animals are nocturnal, so the question is, will they respond to the eclipse? clips or will they not? Truth is, we have some ideas, but we want the community to take part of this event with us. That sounds so fun. Mm. October 14th at the yes. zoo. Yes, absolutely. You don't want to miss it. Awesome. Thank you so You're much, welcome. Brooke. Okay, so David is putting the foil there, and then the last step you take is you put a tiny pinhole into the foil. That's going to funnel the light in, and you will be able to have a crystal clear view of the solar eclipse, given there's no clouds out there. Be careful. Kids, are y'all ready to see your cereal boxes in a work in order? Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, coming up after the break, we're gonna head outside and look at the sun. Yeah! yeah. Woo! What? <laughs> Okay, so right on cue, right on cue, the sun is behind the clouds, so we can't see it yet, okay? But once the sun comes out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick your back to the sun so that the sunlight comes through the pinhole here, and you're gonna look through it, and you should see the sun coming out of the clouds here in a bit. Never look directly at the sun. <laughs> Who wants to tell me what a solar eclipse is? 
when the sun and moon are together and they create a fire ring. A ring of fire, exactly. What makes it a ring of fire? When the moon is bigger than the sun or smaller? Smaller than the sun. Absolutely, okay, cool. Let's see if we can find the sun over here. What do you got? Got anything in there? Uh, well, all I see is just like, basically a little piece of light in you there. see a little bit of light? Maybe that's the box. But you got your pinhole, you got your foil, you're all set though, right? Yeah. And you got your Spurs jersey on. Yep. Who's your favorite spur? I don't know. You not know yet? He didn't say Victor Wimbanyama. Wow. And how's yours? Have you seen anything yet? Y'all looking? All right, you ready? Let's look. Let's see if we can find. I can see the moon. Oh. I can see the moon. You see so, the moon? Yeah, it's right there. You guys, it's right there. I see it Where? Oh, the moon's right there. Oh, well, there you go. That's so you guys already that's half know. The, that's half the whole project. Without what, happens, what happens if there's clouds on the time of the solar eclipse? Will uh -oh. you be able to see it? No. 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 But what will happen is that it's going to get dark outside, at least a little dimmer. So kind of like when it's the sunset, okay? I've got a video that I want to show people at home. This is what it looks like when the sun comes out. You can start to see all of the definition of the clouds and everything like that. Well, so that's at least we got the moon. Look. That's half hey of it. Hey, guys, the sun is starting to come out. Point your box up there. I see it. I see it. Oh, you oh, should be able it. to see it. You yeah. should. See, see, see clouds? Yeah. You see clouds? Yeah. You see the sun in there? Yeah. Whoa. Can you guys see the clouds? Whoa. It's this little white dot just moving around. Do you see the clouds? Around. Look at a little. Right there. That's kind of wild, isn't it? Yeah. Tilt it down a little so you can get the sun. That's amazing. You see it? Yeah. What's it look like? It, look, it just looks like a ton of white. It just looks like a ton of white clouds with one little dot moving around. You got the one little dot? That's the sun. I see it. I see it. I see it. There it is. Big. Woo. Whoa. One thing I want to say is even if you Too, so. You guys got it over there? You guys got it? Got it? Wow. Guys, oh, was man. this a fun experiment? Yes. So should you ever look at the sun directly? No. What should you use? An eclipse viewer. A raisin bread box. Raisin bread box. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, everybody. Let's say thank you to the zoo. It's awesome. You can even put your hand There's in front of it. Did you see it? <laughs> put your hand in front of it and you can see your hand. Uh, Isn't that cool? See if you can look at my box. Those are going to come in handy There's here. the sun. Everybody's engaged. Stephen David. Sarah, 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 Sarah,